the age of data literacy, why we should close the data literacy gap. In today's digital world, data is an essential resource for economic growth, competitiveness, innovation, job creation, and societal progress. It is used in every sector and promises to improve government services delivery, complement official statistics, and facilitate development in sectors such as education, health, urban development, transportation, and humanitarian relief services. Why there is a significant need for data analysis in different fields and industries, the lack of skilled human capital has been a serious hindrance to Africans' ability to use data science and analytics for the purpose of development, business, and governance. To close this data literacy gap within the continent, governments should be proactive in building a data native generation by introducing data calls to our elementary schools. A society with sufficient level of data fluency equips the citizen with the skills to understand and contextualize data and thus become less vulnerable to propaganda, conspiracy theories, and fake news. Also, organizations should democratize data throughout the organization's hierarchy, from the executive to the frontline employee. The more empowered employees are to read, write, analyze, and argue with data, the more they will be able to help make faster and better decisions. Data in the hands of few data experts can be powerful, but data at the fingertips of many is what is truly transformational. Wow. <laughs> I think um, data is critical, it's really important because yeah. I mean our life is driven by data and I think um, in Nigeria particularly we're so, um, I don't know if the word is data averse, there's really no sufficient data to back up things, you know, even the number of people living in Nigeria, we don't even yeah. have like an accurate data and, and statistical proof. Exactly, and I, I, I believe that we should start, you know, I mean, the whole data literacy, you know, from even the very, very um, um, early stage, you yeah. know, in schools where we're trying to get people. Because, again, proper decisions, right? We make proper decisions, better decisions with accurate data, whether you're working in the company, whether it's a government, per state of, whatever it is, even in our personal lives, data reviews patterns, you know, that enables yeah. us to make the right. So, again, I think I really, really agree with you know, um, bridging that data literacy gap, starting from at that very, very early stage, okay. and then we begin to build that consciousness in young people, and we can begin to make better informed decisions that will create a better future for us. So I think it's really important. Yeah, yeah thank you so much. You deal with a lot of data. Like, you want to share your ideas. Has it been interesting <laughs> working with you guys? So I like what you, in fact, I think I like today's topic. Let's start from there. <laughs> um, data is the new oil, right? That's yeah. the saying now. Is, is, um, you realize that every business that has grown grew because they understood patterns. Yeah. They understood human patterns yeah. as well as their business patterns. Yeah. And those patterns could only be established by historical data. Yeah. So yeah. Um, the essence of having these conversations, especially from the elementary level, is to sort of synthesize us because I, we are, like he said, we are sort of data bankrupt mm, yeah. and we, we don't even like to even talk about data, maybe because we're afraid of our past or we're afraid of anything, but for whatever reason, we just don't like to talk about data. But then you realize that the world doesn't change. Um, history always repeats itself. Mm. And that means that in order for you to predict what will happen tomorrow, no matter the cycle of life, no matter what changes, I mean, today we're talking about metaverse, um, regardless of wherever, whatever, um, wherever technology heads, the human race is still the same. Yeah. Our behavioral pattern will still always be the same. It means that you can actually predict what can happen, just like Bill Gates was able to predict um, the, the pandemic even before yeah. it happened. Yeah. So it, mean, it just shows that um, and it's all, all as a result of the fact that he had access to historical data. So that knowledge of data needs to be inculcated in 
from from an early stage let our children understand what data is let let our secondary school mates understand what mm. data is and the beautiful thing now is that there's there's a career in data science right yeah data analytics, very good. Data analytics <laughs> that pays that pays a lot i a lot I, of money. I stumbled on an ad on youtube yesterday and the ad told the ad says you can end up to three million naira while working in Nigeria mm. just by being a data analyst, um, an, an, a data analyst, and you can be working for a foreign country, for a co foreign company rather. So it just shows you that there's so much opportunity. A lot of people are going into that space. We can as well start now by developing our younger generation so that we can better prepare ourselves. And the reason why we actually don't even have proper data. Um, um, Nigerian Bureau of Statistics and the likes. I mean, kudos to them. They're doing as much as they can do. But you find out that we don't have skilled hands that yeah. properly understand mm. data. Yeah, yeah. So you need to be able to start developing them now Excellent. because we will need them much more in the future. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, spot on. you're spot on. The thing, when you mentioned that three million area for the uh, data uh, job, so the one's mind left to just because <laughs> data analysis. Anyway, the thing is, um, coming from this perspective of education, because while we were in primary school, we did mean median. No, we did averages. That's what they taught us. Yeah, there. average. Yeah. We find the average. We didn't even understand, or we, we never understood the importance yeah. or the relevance of what we did. I'm sure most of our teachers did not envisage this. Mm. Then going to secondary school, we tried to do statistics, mean, median, mood mm. in the junior secondary school, and then the in senior secondary school, we went, no, that was mean, median, mood. In oh, okay. school. Then in senior secondary school in mathematics. We still did medium, medium, mean, medium mood mm. and pie charts. Mm. Yeah. Standard, 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 standard division, division. variance. Guess what? When you mentioned Big Gates, 100 years ago, according to when I followed the train from that analysis, I think I did something. They said every 100 years there's always going to be a pandemic. A chance, yeah. 100 mm. years ago, there was a pandemic. Yeah, man, so, yeah. finding trend analysis, trend analysis and those things will give you behavioral pattern of an individual or a group of specimen mm. or an organization. The nation cannot survive without data. Mm, if you are yeah. working, trying to develop the country in whatever aspect, and you don't have data, you're working blind, and you mm. can't deceive yourself. Mm. You can't lie. Mm. It's not that you want to manipulate things. You know the way some people in government try to manipulate things mm. in their own favor for corruption, uh, whatever reasons need to do that, that breeds corruption, financial scams, and all those things, financial scandals. You cannot cheat data. Mm. So we should, number one, we should align, realign our education to the current realities of the world mm -hmm. what yeah. is evolving our educational system should evolve mm -hmm. we should let to allow young people with innovative mind works in working in government uh, because i'm going to say this a lot of us many young persons they don't just buy the idea of working for the government if you were nothing to offer what am i doing there sometimes we should inculcate that spirit of service i want to serve our government to correct things and the government should create a new environment for this if you go to countries like us somebody will be in in, in a private sector and do very well after doing very well in private sector, he would like to go back to the government sector, to public sector to serve. Yeah. He's not there because of the money. He just wants to better things. Mm -hmm. So let's try as much as possible to evolve our education and with the current realities, we can work with that analysis, especially data analytics. So you know, I think, Elijah, what you said about you know the whole main media mode, um, average numbers yeah. and all of that, we just thought we were just being smart. You know, exactly. yeah. again, I mean, if you ask me, the YDX. I don't know how that <laughs> how you apply it, yeah. you know, I don't know how that reads. So someone says made a joke that, you know, um find X and Y. I mean, I'm now an accountant or I'm now working in the bank. Yes, There's no X. You know, so <laughs> so yeah. they're asking me money, get accounts, which one is X and Y. So I think we need to start linking, you know, we need to now revamp our curriculum such that yeah. we're now showing young people how you can use the knowledge of data or mean media mode, so to speak, yeah. to solve real life problems, yeah. sure. to solve yeah. real life issues. Even at that very, very, like Ruth said, at that very secondary school, you know, um, kids using um, the knowledge of mathematics, data to solve real, because at the end of the day, why are we even going to school? Why are we learning data? So that we can be able to, you know, so predict, apply, yeah. you know, apply it. It has that application that we're not. So we we learned a bunch of things in school and we we're so brilliant, you know, came out tops and but you can't apply that in real life. So how do you take the knowledge of, you know, X Y Z to apply that to solve, you know, governmental issues? Let's say um, um, the government is troubled with maybe issues of. Um, um, I mean, whatever issue, policy issues, leadership issues, how can you use data to say, oh, by data, and some blue chip companies are beginning to use data to solve, you know, government problems. Yeah. And it's really important that we begin to relate, or I'm, I'm more concerned about relatability. How do we take all those learnings 
and apply it so that at very um, tender ages, young people can be solving problems. And then when they get, and like Ruth said, that future you know, is secured when they can learn how to use that knowledge to solve real life problems. And I think it's really I think, so related to something, so I'm sorry okay. to, to okay. cut you off. Um, I think, point to note to our current Minister of Education, yeah. if they are working on the curriculum, especially from the credo, try to use a real life example for these kids to understand things. I have been opportune to read, uh, there was this particular book I saw, you know, this would have sell old book on the road. I just yeah. got one book on, I think, physics, how they can teach physics to kids. And they were talking about real life problems, how they can relate it to, to um, stories and the rest. So it's interesting to know that even solving this issue of pandemic, the, the, the viruses grew, the YDS, the mm -hmm. can calculate the rate of change and all those yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then the, the simple mean media moves you talk about, simple moving average, your, the stock exchange, how it moves, how the stock moves, is repeating pattern, the yes. overall approach. Yeah. You can study those things. Very important. So all those things, are, you want to say something, Solomon? Um, okay, yeah. Actually, um, I think Germany used mathematics to reduce the cost of um, COVID tests by splitting the number of um, times that they are going to test by two. So if you have 16 people, you test eight. If, if this eight, if none of them have the virus, then there's no need to test individual. Mm. You put them aside and then focus on the other eight that have it. Yeah. Sampling. Or like binary yeah. revision. So it drastically reduced the cost. Mm. So those are real life application of what, um, of the mathematics you've learned in school. And um, there's, there's supposed to be a bridge between industries and academic. So even outside down data, down. yeah, even outside data, in, let me say, different sector, in every sector, there should be a link between industry mm. and academics. So till we build that bridge, then there will be no real life application to what um, what you're doing. All right. So um, up next is Roots. Stay tuned.